My name's Sarah Simons, I'm a junior doctor. So I am particularly interested in emergency medicine and global health. Probably the one thing that we see in a very high acuity environment is kind of that life and death balance. In the sense of you see all spectrums of life. So you'll see a two day old newborn baby who perhaps a little bit jaundiced and you'll see a 103 year old who has really just reached up for that last packet of Jaffa cakes and taken a bit of a tumble. I realised that we have this legal framework to back up all these things that you take for granted without realising it a lot of the time. The right to life will always be one that is forever paramount in healthcare. People will have different needs and they'll have different requirements, so what's relevant to one person won't be relevant to another person. So to have a net and to know that you're doing right by those patients is really important. When you go into hospital when you're first admitted, whether it's for something like a broken leg or a worsening chest infection, they say, who's your next of kin? Which equates to, if things happen, who do you want to know? Is it your mum? Is it your partner? Is it your brother? And that's completely respecting your right to privacy. And that's your family. And that's you being empowered to have that responsibility for your own decision in that respect. And that's done at the door. So it doesn't matter how things go further down the line. That's first and foremost. Equally, you're asked about your religion. You're asked about your dietary requirements, if there's anything in particular to know about. And from the outset, that means that we can take those factors into consideration. Quite often, especially on wards where you're looking after older people, people will come in with quite complex healthcare needs. So quite often a whole cacophony of pills and problems to address. You have a this is me board, which will often be behind your bed and it will say, my name is Beryl and I really like tea with two sugars. I'm a retired nurse. So if I'm watching you really closely as you use my antibiotics, it's because I'm curious. Or, you know, I really like birdsong and I really like sitting out in the chair by the window in the morning. Right to freedom of expression means that you as a patient have the ability and should have your opinions and your thoughts and your concerns about your care acknowledged the whole way through.